is general reading, this may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. All right, uh, Scorpio, current energy, we have the four of swords here, right? So there is a lack of communication between you guys. This is also no communication. Strength here, what's on your mind is you're holding back from this person, okay? You're withholding from this person, trying to tame your emotions towards this person, okay? Although you definitely want to go towards this person. What they're doing is the eight of pentacles. I feel this person is very, very focused on their career, their goals, their business, their money, etc. Okay, they're working very diligently towards their own selves, okay? In your feelings, you have the king of swords here, okay? So you definitely want some kind of clear communication, all right? <coughs> you are wanting to talk to them. In their feelings, is they're very focused. Like I said, right? King of pentacles in reverse. Someone who's non-committal, but at the same time, they're just not focused on um, their relationship or something long-term, okay? They're more focused on their um, inner goals. They have their own visions, but this is someone very materialistic, okay? So they're very focused on their money right now. Uh, the mutual energy between you both is death in reverse. You both don't want to let this go. That's so sweet. But then at the same time, you're both withholding from each other. Okay. This person looks like they're trying to distract themselves. Okay. From trying to talk to you whilst you're holding back to. Okay. You do want communication with the king of swords. Okay. You're having a very logical approach towards this person here. <coughs> this person is very stubborn right now. Okay. They're very set in their ways. They want to do things their way only, okay? There's a certain way they like to do it and they don't like to listen to anyone. Okay, why is the Four of Swords here? <clears throat> hmm. Um, King of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Wands. Definitely there is someone here, okay, who's trying to take a break from a situation here. Could be both of y'all, okay? But there is a lot of passion here. With the king of wands here someone wants to take that um action towards you scorpio this could be you but they're waiting for the right time with the wheel of fortune here okay they want growth expansion with you they're waiting for the right time with the six of wands here this is someone who's very very determined to move forward okay want victory this is also the card of marriage commitment okay so definitely someone here who is very passionate about you okay they're zoned in on you they're looking at you okay but they're just going to wait for the right time and they're trying to heal okay with the four of swords here i'm getting more of thinking rejuvenating recuperating getting their shit together is what i'm getting <clears throat> tell me about the strength mm. scorpio you right now you're definitely um cutting communication okay with someone here okay because you're trying to you want balance in a situation and probably you feel that by cutting out someone who's been very cold i see detached towards you or someone who's been very manipulative towards you okay a liar or a cheater you feel it's right only to cut this person off and work on yourself with the queen of wands here okay you have a lot of passion for this person we have the king and the queen here it's a very divine pair okay <coughs> a very spiritual connection here but you're very focused on yourself right now, okay? You're just going to do what makes you happy, wh whatever your passions are. You're taking action, but not towards this person. I feel you're trying to cut this person out, okay? Because of this person's approach towards you, okay? Who was very rash. Someone who always manipulated the situation, you know? The truth, they never talked about, they never said the truth to you, okay? And that's how you're trying to b bring in balance to yourself, okay? And you think that's by holding back from them. <clears throat> eight of pentacles yeah this person with the page of wands here okay this person definitely has a lot of passion for you they want to they want to move towards you in a new direction okay they have a lot of enthusiasm okay this person definitely wants to take a new path with you but with the knight of wands in reverse here this is someone who's not still uh coming towards you in the right approach Okay, you're dealing with someone who's been very in and out of your life. Okay, but with the nine of wands and reverse and the temperance here, they want again. I'm getting this is exactly this person. Okay, this is someone who wants to move towards you, but they're too fucking slow. They're too slow out here. Okay, with the temperance here, it's all about the divine timing, right? Something's going to take a lot of patience, a lot of time to come towards you, and this is what this person's doing. They're too slow. Okay, with the page of wands here, this is a very light hearted energy. Okay, but um. When it comes to uh, rushing towards you, they're in no hurry. They're in no hurry right now, you know. <clears throat> 
I think all their focus is on working on themselves. Okay. They're trying to leave it to the universe that if it's meant to happen, it will be. Okay. Why is the king of swords in Scorpio's feelings? This person could be very busy with the eight of pentacles and eight of pentacles here. <clears throat> king of swords. Yeah, I think you have a very logical approach towards this. Okay. You're trying to heal from a breakup. Okay. The separation. Three of swords in reverse. Ace of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. You want a practical new beginning with this person, okay? You're probably been looking for commitment here. But right now, your focus is yourself, your financial independence, your own self-worth, okay? You're working on your goals. You both are doing the same thing. What I don't like is this person is more focused on just the materialistic, materialistic aspect, whilst you are focused on a brand new beginning, okay? you There is an opportunity that's being presented to you, okay? In your feelings, you want this with this person. But for right now, you're choosing to work on yourself focusing on your um, energy, your self-worth, okay? By trying to move on from this person, but trying to heal is what I'm getting, okay? You're being very logical, Scorpio, okay? You are a water sign, but you feel it's the right thing to do again because justice here, right? You're cutting someone out who was just not communicating well with you or someone who was just very manipulative is what I'm getting, okay? <clears throat> What's the king of pentacles and reverse? See, see, exactly. That's why I told you that they're not in the right energy. You know, usually if there's someone here who definitely has the right intentions of working towards their own goals, they would be in the upright. They're in the reverse, which means they've withdrawn, okay, themselves here right now. They're trying to distract themselves and do what they can to not think about this breakup, okay, because it's hurting them, right? Four of wands, ten of swords in reverse, and the queen of cups. This person is fucking in love with you. They're in love with you. They want to recover the situation. They want to get this. They want a resurrection. Something ended badly here, okay? Something ended badly here between you and them, okay? Whatever the ending was, right? They want to get this back. They want to. They want a reconciliation with you. They want recovery, okay? To the situation. And with the four of wands here, this person definitely wants marriage, long-term commitment with you. Queen of Cups, they're trusting their intuition. But I feel this is someone who loves you very, very much. There is a lot of love here. They want to heal this connection, but they're choosing not to focus on this, thinking that they'll shut their eyes and the situation will go away. But you're still there in their feelings. They can't do much about it. They're acting very slow moving with the temperance here, okay? But look at the amount of passion they have. The Knight of Wands in reverse is a very reckless, impulsive energy. You know, they want your attention very badly. They do, okay? <clears throat> This is someone who could be like, you know, I'm okay without you, you know. I mean, that's the kind of energy they would show you, you know, like they're okay without you. I mean, they don't need you, you know. The breakup is fine, you know, they're going to move on, etc. But that is bullshit. That is bullshit. Death in reverse is your mutual energy. What the hell are you talking about, bro? Look how badly they want to communicate with you. They want to initiate the communication. But I feel, <laughs> you know what I feel with the temperance here? They're purposely making you wait. They're making you wait. Probably they're waiting for you to communicate with them. That's why, see, there's that energy of, I want this now. I want to move forward now. I want my Scorpio, blah, blah, blah. You know, but it's like holding on their horses, you know, like if they let the rain go, they would just like crash into a wall is what I'm getting. They're in that much of a hurry. They're just trying to tame themselves as much as they can. <clears throat> why is the death in reverse here? They're going through a burnout, you know. They're so exhausted. Why is the death in reverse here? <clears throat> See, death in reverse here. Yeah, you both cannot let this end, okay? The problem here is that with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here, right? Someone is fed up on of investing into this connection over and over again, okay? It's like, I have put in so much work. I feel it's you, Scorpio, okay? You've, you've put in so much work here. You're completely exhausted, okay? Because this is a situation where you've put in a lot of investment, okay? But there was a lack of fruition, okay, to this connection here, which has kept you, it's just left you in the dark. So this situation is known to you or both of you, okay? But you're both still not ready to let go. The ending is there. There has been an ending, but none of you want to let it go. Because A, I think there's a lack of clarity, okay? I think you're both focusing on the negative part of the uh, relationship rather than focusing on the positive. 
You're being very pessimistic, both of you or one of you even more here. Someone out here is fed up of putting in the work, okay, because they've waited and waited and waited for things to come into fruition, okay, to get the rewards of whatever they um, hard work they put in into this connection, okay. But they're giving up. Someone's just frustrated with the delays because there was someone here who was anyways very slow moving, okay? The Knight of Pentacles, that's the kind of energy where you literally feel you're being fucked with, you know? Because this person is just a slow moving. I feel this is this is this person you're dealing with, okay? And now, for right now, they're completely stagnant, completely at a halt. Why? Because I feel this person is very overburdened with their inner goals, okay? This person could be someone who's... Um, even could be struggling financially, okay? Because see how hard they're working with the Eight of Pentacles. That's in the upright here, okay? So they're very focused on working, okay? So right now they want to uh, give this a break. They want to see where this goes, okay? They're being very patient and they're leaving everything to the divine. But right now, the, you both don't want to let it go. And because this person's not communicating with you, right? It's leaving you both in the dark, yeah? But there's a lot of frustration here because things are just not, you're not being able to reap the rewards, you know? <clears throat> why seven of swords why is the seven of swords here oh <clears throat> you're moving away from this person's copy with a hermit here you're completely going to be withdrawn that's the action you're taking with the seven of swords here i think you're being very strategic but you're being very very um let's say you're being very quiet about your moves Okay, with the seven of swords, yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm feeling you're very withdrawn. You're being very quiet about your moves. You're not making a lot of noise, okay? No matter how much it hurts you, right? With death here, you feel the need to put an ending to this, okay? And you want to move away from this person here. Because you're doing a lot of thinking about what you need to do, what you need to do, right? But with the seven of swords, yeah, I feel instead of facing the situation or instead of trying to communicate with this person, right? I think you're trying to escape, you know? You're trying to get away with something. <coughs> This is very sneaky behavior, Seven of Swords. But to me, it looks like you're just trying to be very, very logical out here. Very strategic. You know, like stealth mode is what I feel. You're just completely ghosting this person. Completely. With a hermit here, okay? With a Six of Swords, you're creating that mental, physical distance between you guys, all right? But you feel the need to move away. You just want to be alone. Take some time as to this ending. You know, that has occurred between you guys with the death here. I feel if this person doesn't come towards you, ultimately you are going to completely let it go, okay, with the death here. Because that's your plan with the Seven of Swords, your stealth mode. You're completely disappearing, you know. This person will never find you again. That was a little over-exaggerated. Well, but I, I just feel, I mean, you understand what I'm saying, right? <clears throat> this person, Queen of Cups in reverse here. Why is this the action that this person will take? Thank God. I really like this. But anyways, the outcome is a little nasty. Uh, the Queen of Cups in Reverse is clarified by the Page of Swords in Reverse. Knight of Knight of Cups in the Judgment here. This person is very emotionally shut off. Okay. They're being very emotionally unavailable right now. But I'm getting emotionally manipulated. They have so much love for you. With the Knight of Cups here. They want a resurrection. Okay. Like I said, Knight Judgment here. Ten of Swords in reverse here. They want this reconciliation. They want to marry you, okay? They do because the love is strong. But when it comes to their action towards you, they're going to show you as someone who's very detached, very cold, you know, very quick to detach, very unavailable. They're very resentful towards you is what I'm getting, you know? They're very hurt. Okay, the love is there, okay? They want to come in and express. They want to give you this love offer, okay? Because, but with the page of Salt and Reverse, they're not taking that action. That's what my problem is. Cups is just emotions, right? But the page of Salt and Reverse, that's my problem here. These two cards here, they want a resurrection. They want a reconciliation. They want the situation. They want to turn the situation around. But when it comes to doing, implementing on their ideas, they're just going to watch you, stalk you, you know, uh, look at you from a distance, okay? But that's all. That's about it. That's they're going to do. Why the Six of Cups in reverse? I think that's what's going to leave a bad taste in your mouth. Because um, <clears throat> you'll probably miss or remember this person and have and, and more like recollect more of the negative memories, okay, in this relationship. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Star. All right. Six of Cups in reverse. What the hell? That's not how I, I was thinking this would turn out to be. Six of Cups in reverse, okay? Yes, this is, this is holding on to a grudge. But now I feel that this is also letting go of the 
bad memories, letting go of the past. I think that's what this person is coming in with, with the judgment and the Knight of Cups in reverse here. They are in two minds, okay? They, they're thinking a lot about you, but I think ultimately they're going to come in towards you, okay? With the judgment and Knight of Cups here, because the Six of Cups in, is <coughs> in reverse is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, the Star and the Nine of Cups. You have two fucking wish fulfillment cards, Scorpio. Damn! This person with the Queen of Pentacles here, yeah. this is someone who wants something stable with you. They're ready to commit. They're ready to put in the effort, okay? That's how they see you. They see you as a badass. They see you as someone very practical, logical, whatever it is, okay? You have a wish come true with the Star and Nine of Cups. There's a lot of healing that has happened in this situation, okay? There's been a lot of time gone by before this person comes in. I think you've both recovered. Okay, that's why the death in the reverse here, okay, because mutually you both don't want to let it go. You're forcibly letting go because Six of Swords is a forced departure, okay. Nine of Cups, emotional, I mean, this is wish fulfillment. Wow, Star and the Queen of Pentacles looks like they're coming in towards you with that commitment, coming in towards you, wanting to uh, give you, offer you something stable, something committed, something long term, okay. Damn, Scorpio, that took me off guard. <laughs> I guess that's what I label this. All right, Scorpio, I'm so happy for you guys. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.